Now to Doug Richards, live at the state capitol. Doug, as 11 Lives veteran political reporter, you have followed this issue at the state capitol for many years. What's your take on what could happen next here in the state? Well, there has already been uh, pressure on Governor Kemp to call a special session of the Georgia legislature this year during the election year uh, to enact a even tighter and even tighter abortion law than the one that was enacted in 2019, the uh, famous heartbeat bill. Uh, when he ran against David Perdue in the primary, Perdue called on Kemp to immediately call a special session after the Alito uh, draft of the Supreme Court decision was leaked. Uh, Kemp has uh, resisted that, and in a statement today that uh, Kemp released, he said that uh, he called uh, today's landmark ruling a historic victory for life and that he looks forward to its impact on the legal proceeding surrounding Georgia's Life Act, uh, which is the heartbeat bill. Uh, and then at the very end of the statement says, we will continue that important work in the days and months to come. Uh, what Kemp does not say is that he's going to call a, a special session. Part of the pressure on him to call a special session is uh, to hedge the bet uh, in the November election. If uh, Democrat Stacey Abrams were to become governor and beat Kemp in November, any stricter abortion bill that would pass the Republican-led legislature would undoubtedly be vetoed by that governor. So having a special session kind of uh, would preclude a Abrams from vetoing a bill like that. But there are also reasons that Kemp uh, would not call a special session. And the biggest reason for that is they may not have, probably don't have, the votes to actually pass a more restrictive bill. So folks are counting votes. They've actually been counting votes for weeks, but there will be, you know, a new, there's an existing legislature now that will uh, retire at the end of this year. A new legislature will come in in November, or excuse me, in January. and. You know, nobody knows really what the makeup of that legislature will be and the extent to which they would be willing to pass a more conservative abortion law. Doug, it's uh, complicated as, as, you're, as you're talking through this. I was reading a poll that 7 in 10, 70 percent of Georgians polled opposed reversing Roe versus Wade, but 49 percent opposed, you know, a more restrictive ban. So Republicans know they're kind of walking a line here as we're approaching uh, another election. Is that part of the intricacies of what's playing out and and maybe thinking about what could happen next? I mean, I think that what we see is that politicians pay more the most attention to the polling data that's reflective of their own supporters. Um, and the majority of the Republican Party, when polled, says, yes, I support stronger uh, abortion uh, restrictions. So I think what you're really going to be looking at is there were some Republicans in the legislature in 2019 uh, when the heartbeat bill passed who opposed the heartbeat bill and did not vote for it. Similarly, there were a couple of Democrats who did vote for that bill. So, you know, this is really going to be a numbers game in terms of how many legislators are willing to do it um, and the extent to which uh, there is the political will among them uh, to actually enact a law that's even more restrictive than the than the 2019 law, which is already quite restrictive uh, in the pantheon of the 50 states. So my, it sounds like what mm -hmm. they want to do is let, let this bill take law now that the Roe versus Wade impediment is out of the way and go on from there. All right, appreciate your insight on that. Doug, thanks so much. You know, within just the last hour or so, we did hear from Stacey Abrams, who's calling and challenging Brian Kemp in the governor's race. Abrams addressing in a video her outrage over the court's decision today. It is a fact that in Georgia, forced pregnancy is now the law of the state. The draconian abortion ban signed into law by the current governor in 2019 makes it a crime to seek an abortion after six weeks of pregnancy. Soon, Georgia women will lose their right to choose before most even know they're pregnant because of this governor's callous decision to put his politics above women's health care needs.